So a video popped up on my For You page. The video was a stitch between a wannabe fitness influencer and somebody who posted a video of them visibly upset going through a hard time in their life. I'll actually tag him below. Of course, in typical coward internet keyboard warrior fashion, his stitches were turned off so I couldn't reply to the guy who was giving criticism. His entire response though came off generally as like the type of objectively shitty parenting style of like, if you keep crying, I'm gonna give you something to cry about. You know, I got this buddy, his name is Sid. A lot of you might know him as the Buddha. And about 3000 years ago, he said something that really stuck with me. He said, all life is suffering. For most of human history, people have been reassured that God has a plan and to have faith. For most people throughout history, that pacified them. Keep stacking knowledge on atrocities and eventually people started to wake up though. Like one of my favorite crust punk bands, Amoebix, once said, your leaders were lying, the world is dying, and nobody's driving. All of a sudden, our human collective consciousness was exposed to this radical, grim reality that... Maybe life and therefore suffering has no meaning at all. From that collective anxiety, we see philosophical schools such as nihilism and existentialism pop up in recent modern history. Religion has wrestled with the problem of evil since time immemorial. And to this kid who's brought to tears by the fact that he's run down, stressed out, and has no home to turn to, is presumably homeless, the Stitcher has to say that he should go see a childhood cancer ward sometime. But to those of us who have come to question the existence and influence of God, your solution actually just exacerbates the problem. To us, God is dead, and so is the comfort and solace that he once provided. These injustices upon the innocent just drive us further to think that maybe this life is not a waiting room for a paradise. Maybe the true nature of reality is more like an H.P. Lovecraft novel than it is in the Bible. Now, personally, I am no atheist, but... Given the apparent design flaws in this reality, I am led to agree with what was once scratched in the wall in a World War II concentration camp. If there is a God, he will have to beg for my forgiveness. Remember, nobody in this world has a monopoly on suffering.